You'd have to be living on a distant planet to not have heard of Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story, one of Andy's favourite toys. But imagine if you could see the film that Andy saw back in 1995 that made him fall in love with Buzz. Well, stop imagining, because Lightyear is that movie. I'm Captain Starlight, and welcome to another Kids Movie Review. Hit that like and subscribe button right now for the freshest of fun with Captain Starlight content three times a week. Open the pod bay doors and take an anti-gravity jump into the cinematic sci-fi world of Buzz as a human space ranger. No longer a four-inch plastic doll, but still as funny as ever. Our first hyperspeed test flight is a go. Who are you talking to? Uh, no one. You were narrating again. I was not. Just doing the mission log. You do know no one ever listens to the... I know that. Narrating helps me focus. After marooning their very appropriately named ship, the Space Turnip, on a hostile planet full of monstrous vines and space bugs, Buzz and his best buddy commander Aisha Hawthorne and thousands of fellow crew find themselves stuck 4.2 million light years from Earth. The stubborn and hot-headed Buzz, unwilling to quit, attempts to use the planet's minerals to fuel his ship, reach light speed and find a way home. The only thing is, each time he attempts and fails a four minute mission, he jumps four years into the future, finding that everyone back on the planet has aged four years without him. What? After what seems like only a handful of attempts, Buzz suddenly finds himself half a century into the future in a world that's moved on. Buzz like you to Star Command. Come in, Star Command. Why don't they answer? Hey, hey. To make matters worse, a spaceship containing an evil robot Zerg army has arrived. The only ones who can stop them and get the colonists back to Earth? A buzz. Izzy, the great-granddaughter of Commander Hawthorne, all grown up. Are you trying to get me to pull your finger? Don't fall for it. No, not like that. Ugh, sorry, it's a thing your grandma and I used to do. Yeah. The hilarious Mo and Darby. This and they shave a little time off my sentence. Okay. And what about you? Well, I thought this was going to be like a fun boot camp workout thing. <laughs> but it is not. And of course, Socks, the cutest robot cat you will ever meet. This film starts slow, but once it finds its altitude, it's a hilarious action-packed space adventure that looks beautiful and will no doubt create yet another sellout roller coaster at numerous Disney parks. Although the film is about Buzz, Socks the Cat steals the show, and we can bet toy stores will be packed full of these fluffy fellas, especially if they're anything like what Socks can do in the movies. I can provide sleep sounds if you like. I have several options. Summer night, ocean paradise, whale calls. No, no, white noise is fine. Very well. Good night, Socks. Good night, Buzz. <sighs> Adults, this film does get pretty clever in terms of space time travel science. There are some themes about dealing with loss, and there's some rather spooky space bugs in the movie. So super young space cadets may want to stick to the original Toy Story movie. Fun facts, Lightyear is the second spin-off movie of the original Toy Story saga after Buzz Lightyear from Star Command. Chris Evans, who plays Buzz in this film, has exactly the same birthday as Tim Allen, who voiced Buzz in the original Toy Story saga. And Socks is actually voiced by one of Pixar's animators. If you like Star Wars, Captain America, and of course the original Toy Story series, Lightyear will light up your life. Our Captain Starlight rocket rating gives it an interstellar 4 out of 5. Before you go to infinity and beyond to watch this awesome movie, remember to like and subscribe for more of our great content. I've been Captain Starlight, and this has been another Kids Movie Review!